What's up, Instagram family? Um, I want to talk about the saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. See, now, I understand the whole mindset behind it as you've got this thing going for you, it's working, you're getting to where you need to be, you know, you're seeing results, there's nothing wrong with that. But me personally, I can't lie, after a while, I don't want to say I get bored, but you know, I want to try something a bit new. I want to switch something up. I want to see if something else can work a bit better. So you've got to break it. i got to break it. If you're like me, then eventually you've got to break it because you want to see how things can get better, how things can improve. And you won't be able to do that. You won't know how to be able to do that if you don't want to break it, if you don't want to break the routine and change things up, if you're afraid of actually changing things and the current way things are running i think it's so much better to do it that way it's so much better to break things when things are running perfectly as well when there's nothing already broken i personally think it's good to break things and just test it because you can always you can always go back to doing things the old way you know and if there's no pressure on you um if you're in a situation where it doesn't matter if you mess up because you're so far, for example, in a basketball game, if you're so far ahead of the competition where you can afford to, you know, try a new rotation and stuff like that, because you know that if you see the other team coming back, you can just put the other team back in, or sorry, the other rotation back in, and, you know, it's, it wouldn't have affected the game, you're still going to win the game regardless. That's the same way I see it in business, content creating, or anything. And the best thing about that as well, that <laughs> this literally just happened to me, um, you know, my method of content creating and making videos has been somewhat working, you know, I've been seeing progress forever. Um, and with my latest video, I actually decided to switch it up to something completely different that I haven't done before, but I've always sort of wanted to do, you know, I've always sort of wanted to try, um, and it didn't work, but now I know that that method it doesn't work for me. Do you know what I mean? So now I'm not. That's not, there's no regret saying, oh, you know, oh, I should have tried this. I should have tried that. There's no regrets, and that's the thing. If you're afraid to break the current system of or the current way in which you're working, you may have regrets about not trying the other ideas. Because what if your other idea is the one that works better? And now I know that that doesn't work better. I, I ain't got no regrets. Hey, you know, I just bounce back. Be here, you know what I mean? I'm just going back at it, just doing whatever I need to do, going back to the other way, seeing maybe there's another way I can break it and that might work for me, do you know what I mean? Um, and the thing is, sometimes you won't know something's broken until you like break it, and then you see, oh wow, like this was always broken anyway, like there was always this gap here, you know, there was always missing this option, or this wasn't really working to the optimal ability, and all of that sort of stuff. So once again, I'm just going to end this here. I'm just telling you, yo, don't be afraid to break something when you're in a position to like bounce back if it fails. And you never know, you know, hey, seeds grow when they're broken, you know what I mean, when they crack. I actually love that saying, but um, it's just so true. It is so true. Um, yeah. Don't forget to um, share this and send it to your stories and save it. It will do a lot and comment something that you like if you like this. Yeah.